Two weeks ago, I received an unexpected letter from Synchrony. It was someone named Lisa from their corporate relations department. I initially thought to myself, it's never a good thing to receive an unsolicited letter from any bank, much less a corporate relations department letter. In my mind, I am a small bank customer, only one of millions of account holders in the U.S. Then why am I getting this unexpected letter from Synchrony? Now keep in mind, I have not been in contact with Synchrony for months, and I currently have little money in their account. So it was a bit strange for me to receive a letter from out of the blue. And this is what the letter says starting out. On behalf of Synchrony Bank, I am responding to your inquiry. I appreciate you bringing this matter to my attention. I think to myself, I made no inquiry to Synchrony, and I certainly didn't contact anyone that I can recall. However, I read the letter further, and this is what it says. Your concern is with Synchrony Bank's OTP process. Synchrony Bank has advanced strategies and methods in place to protect our customers' accounts. For security purposes, when account holders access an account via the internet from an unregistered device, account holders are required to complete a one-time passcode process, in which the bank will issue a temporary PIN code that can be sent via text message or telephone call to confirm their identity. There is also a field when a user can self-enter the phone number while they are prompted for OTP if they don't see their phone number listed. If the telephone number provided has not been registered in the bank system, they will be retrieved from the credit bureaus. If an account holder registers their device, they will no longer be prompted to complete the step. Please be advised, our OTP phone numbers are sourced from an internal database called Rubin. There is no clear indication when the phone number you are currently using will begin to report to the databases with high enough incidents to create a match, or if the address on file you provided to Synchrony Bank is still being reported as vacant by the U.S. Postal Service. Now, I'm not going to read the entire letter. You can freeze the screen to read the entire letter. Now, this letter is actually a very good explanation of how Synchrony's online verification system works. Too bad they didn't provide this information sooner. Even when you call customer service, they don't explain how their online verification system works very well. They give vague explanations. But most importantly, they don't do anything about it at that time from what I can tell. Yes, you complain. Yes, we know how this works. But, but what, what are you, you going to do, do about, about it except, except wait, 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 right? That's, That's my, my issue. issue. But again, why am I getting this letter when I haven't contacted them or barely logged into my Synchrony account for months? It's my guess that someone at Synchrony saw this complaint video that I made five months ago about my login troubles I had at that time. Now, another issue I'm dealing with on the home front is my cat, Lexi. She tells me that you should swipe that like button to spread the word on this video. So can you please help the poor cat out and swipe that like button? I explained in my Synchrony video that I made complaints to customer service about problems I had logging in in my fear of being locked out of my account. I thought about closing my account. I was considering closing my account because Synchrony could not recognize my current phone number of three years at that time and the login system kept insisting I use a phone number I didn't recognize and had no access to verify. Even when I spoke to customer service and told them my current phone number, there was nothing they did. I was, I was left, left hanging, hanging at, at that, that time. time. I was only able to get into my account after finally getting the idea of using an old phone number that I still had text message access to. But I lucked out on that because I procrastinated in disabling that old number. Otherwise, I might have been locked out without that workaround. Now, without meaning to sound ungracious to Synchrony, why did it take my YouTube video to get any kind of serious response? I certainly commend Synchrony for sending me this explanation letter, but they are sending me the letter now when I really don't care all that much. Maybe they wanted me to make this update video to set the record straight. I really, I really don't, don't know. know. Although it's past the point I think much about my Synchrony account anymore, I will say it is nice to have a better explanation than was ever offered before by customer service. However, I do object to one of their statements. They write 
we have reviewed your account and found the OTP concerns slash issues have not limited your ability to transact with your account at any time since account opening. I didn't, I didn't like, like that. that. My response to you, Synchrony, if you're listening, is that whatever you see on your end doesn't reflect the nonsense and gymnastics I went through on my end. And it really left a sour taste on my mouth, which is why I made that video. Now, I have access to more devices than most people. I also have more insights into online systems to find workarounds, which is what I did. But I was also lucky by procrastinating shutting down an old phone number. So to you, everything might look fine on your end, but it wasn't on my end. It ticked me off and it was a pain in my butt. I was very concerned about being locked out when I had more money in that account. I am not as concerned now because, quite frankly, I transferred most of my money out. The Synchrony account that I have right now is currently a placeholder account for me. My YouTube video was made to warn and inform others of similar problems. If I did not get aggravated, I would have never made that video. Now I have another piece of advice for you, Synchrony, if you're still listening. If you give out the name, phone, and extension of someone in corporate relations for me to call back and follow up, that person should actually respond when I call and leave messages. That's what I recommend. It is really bad form to ignore and ghost somebody over a matter that you want to resolve nicely. If you guys choose not to pick up the phone and not return voice messages, that is certainly your prerogative. I know my account with you is very small at this point, but I'm not going to beg for a communication unless I am locked out. I am doing my part to communicate the information you shared with me to the general public. I'm certainly not trying to pick a fight with Synchrony and look for problems, but at the same time, I know I'm not alone in encountering this problem with Synchrony and the login system. Maybe they are doing better now, I don't know. But I am happy to report I haven't run into any problems the few times that I have logged in, which is very infrequent. Synchrony customers who have no issues and no problems will probably not watch this video. Most people don't watch these kinds of videos unless they have a problem. And you, Synchrony, are primarily an online bank from what I can tell. So customer service issues are magnified when customers have complaints about getting into their accounts and their money. It's not like anyone can drive to a local Synchrony branch office. I certainly don't believe there's an epidemic of these kinds of login problems with Synchrony, but as a person who is not an off-the-grid person, and as someone with both verifiable IDs and a good credit report, it really didn't have to be this hard. I get that online fraud is an epidemic and there have to be proactive mechanisms. But you guys have to get it together and figure out a better way to fix these types of complaints from legitimate customers and account holders. I know what I'm talking about because I have several accounts with several online banks and I don't have such issues. Only with Synchrony did it become this difficult. You do something good, but then you undermine your own efforts is my constructive criticism to you guys at Synchrony. Now to my viewers, if I further hear from Synchrony, I will let you guys know. Otherwise, I hope to move on from this and not speak of it again. Next up, check out this next video and make sure you swipe that like button and I will see you in my next video.